What's up everyone, hope you're all well. Yeller here, and today I'm going to be covering 10 quick tips that will help you qualify in Fall Guys more often to make the final level. Some of these tips have been seen in previous guides, however, some are levels I haven't covered yet, since doing a full tutorial on certain levels this late in the season doesn't really make sense for me. All of these tips will be geared towards qualifying more often, and not necessarily the most fun way to play. You'll see what I mean in the video. And finally, these are not ordered in any particular way of importance. These are just 10 things I really think will help most players qualify more often. So before we get into it, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, let me know what guides you'd like to see in the future below in the comments, and if you're new here and would like to see more detailed Fall Guys guides, consider subscribing. Let's get into it. So the first tip I want to cover is walking on the top walkway on Team Tail Tag. This is by far the most efficient way to keep your tail. If you're running around on the bottom or really anywhere else on the map, you can get grabbed from multiple spots and lose your tail. By using this walkway, you can never get grabbed from behind and only have to worry about the people in front of you. If you see someone coming towards you, you have two options. Either jump off and then quickly work your way back up to the path or just turn around. Both are effective and by using this method, I rarely lose my tail. Next, let's talk about egg scramble. I put a guide out on this, but it's still one of the most useful things you can do as a teammate. If you end up getting egg scramble, the best way to help your team qualify is to go on the offense and just throw eggs out of your opponent's basket. You'll see here, I don't even bother trying to take them back to my team for the points, I'm just trying to empty the opponent's basket and get them down to zero as quick as possible. A lot of the times, if you do this early enough, it will make some members of the team you're attacking give up, which leads to an easier victory. The next tip is for the slime climb balance beam. When I made my grabbing guide, I had no idea this would be the thing people were most excited to learn about, so I figured I have to include it in this video just in case you haven't seen it. If you're having trouble making the jump to the second balance beam, throw out a grab as soon as you jump towards it and hold it. This will help stabilize you upon landing and you'll move much less. You do still need to line up your camera properly before you make the jump. However, doing both of these should ensure you don't ever fall off unless you just end up making a terrible jump. The next tip is for the level rollout. This level has actually become one of my favorite levels just because the grabbing mechanic is so unique on this level. However, if you are just looking to move on and not worried about trying to eliminate other players, then the best thing you can do here to qualify is just walk back and forth. I actually had to go back pretty far to find footage of this, but if your main goal is to qualify, this is the way. Alright, we're halfway through. So tip number five, stay towards the front on block party. In this clip, you'll see where I typically like to stand. I feel if you're too far forward, you can easily get pushed off, and if you're too far back, you can get caught by the walls, or if someone is up front grabbing and trips other players up. This is also a level I wouldn't really recommend grabbing on unless you're very comfortable with it, or unless you're being attacked. If your main goal is to move on, I just wouldn't grab. Now, if you do want to have fun and don't care about qualifying, grab away and try and get a bigger pile up than this. If you do, please send me the clip. I'd love to see it. Next is a real simple quick one. Utilize the speed boost ramp on Whirligig. This is one of the simplest shortcuts in the game that most people still don't utilize. By doing this, you can get so far ahead of everyone else who's piled up at the beginning, and all you need to do is jump and then dive right before you're about to hit the platform. This might take you a couple attempts to master, but once you do, it makes qualifying on this level pretty easy. Now, Jump Club is a level I haven't covered because it's so short and really only has one thing you can do. If you already have your own method of doing this level and never get disqualified, keep doing your thing. But I wanted to show my method. Basically, what you do is just run with the pink beam until you see the green one pass on the other side, and once you see that, you turn around and go jump over the green beam, and then immediately start running with the pink beam again, as shown here. With this method, I have never been disqualified unless I'm messing around and trying to eliminate other players. Another really quick tip is to almost always jump dive on Seesaw towards the white line. Jump diving ensures you won't roll around or fall off the Seesaw and should make qualifying on this level pretty easy. The only time you really won't need to jump dive is if the Seesaws are on equal levels or if it's not tilted at all. The next tip is one you may already know, but something that's always important to keep in mind. On the level tiptoe, if you see the tile shake, they're fake. So once you reach the halfway point on the path for tiptoe, start looking out for shaking tiles in the first, second, and third row from the finish line. You'll see in this clip, the far right tile shakes, and since that tile is fake, 
there's literally only one path to the finish line. It obviously won't always be this easy, but still, paying attention to the shaking tiles will help you qualify more often. And finally, tip number 10, utilize quick grab. For those of you who don't know, a quick grab is a quick tap of the grab button with an immediate release. This will stop the other players briefly while allowing you to continue to move. This tip is probably the biggest game changer for most players once they get it down. You can use this to jump ahead of other players in a race, ensure you get the crown at the end of Fall Mountain if another player is up there with you that might get it, eliminate players on Jump Showdown. There are so many uses for this mechanic, and once you have it mastered, you will start winning a lot more matches. So that's going to be it for my 10 quick tips for Fall Guys to help you qualify more often. Hopefully you were able to learn something from the video that will help you going forward. And again, please let me know what type of content you would like to see going forward. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, give it a like and consider subscribing. Enjoy your day.